Thank you, Las Concorla. Um, as I stand here today, uh, there are families, individuals, um, couples, prospective first-time buyers in the Clannacilty area in the West Cork area who are they're gutted. They're gutted, and I'm gutted too, and I'll explain why. Because for the first time, uh, West Cork was going to see the delivery of an affordable housing scheme, something that I had been looking for for years, something that uh, the people of West Cork had been looking for for years. Finally, an affordable housing scheme. To, we delivered social houses, plenty of houses gone on sale on the private market, but this was here, uh, 22 houses in Clannacilty to cater for those who couldn't get finance um, and who weren't on the social housing list. But they're gutted because that affordable housing scheme has collapsed. It's gone. It's no longer available. Um, and it's an absolute disgrace. Uh, houses, you know, that would have been on the market for 340, 345,000, were going to be sold for in and around 260. And I know, look, it, it's using the word affordable to, to, to describe houses in that range. I get it. I get why the criticism's going. But it's a massive difference, the 245,000. And people were excited. People were looking forward to the possibility. And I know it was on a first come, first serve basis. And I know that not everyone was guaranteed, but at least the option was there. And it's no longer there. And I want to say at this point, it is not the fault of Cork County Council. It's not the fault of the auctioneer. It's not the fault of the builder. For me, this uh, lies, in my opinion, squarely at the feet of the developer. Um, and I think there's one word, in my opinion, that can be described to, uh, to that can be used to describe what's going on here, and that is, it's greed. Uh, and I, I want to explain, in my view, why this affordable housing scheme has collapsed. Uh, and it's not going to be saved at this point. Um, it has collapsed because uh, a, an agreement, in principle, uh, maybe not a contract, it wasn't uh, tied down, but agreement in principle was reached with Cork County Council for 22 affordable homes. 18 of those homes would have been three beds, and four of those would have been two beds. The local authority knowing that the biggest demand in terms of affordable housing would have been for three beds. And just as Cork County Council was ready to press go, just as they were ready to advertise, they had everything ready to advertise the scheme earlier this year, um, the goalposts were changed. Uh, as far as I can gather, the developer came back with a new proposal. No, we're not going to give you those first 22. We're not going to give you those 18 three beds. Instead, we're going to give you 10 three beds and 12 two beds. A completely different prospect. Um, and there was also a discussion on, on a new price. I do not blame Cork County Council one iota for withdrawing for this. And I don't blame them if they never deal with this uh, developer again. And that is the point I want to make here today. When developers behave in this way, um, I haven't identified any developer, but this is a situation that I don't want to see happen again. The situation, yeah. just the identification. I don't want to see it happen again yeah. where um, the state our local authorities deal with people um, who, who act in such a way. And I want to get that point across. Um, I feel for the families. They're going to have to wait a couple of years before the next affordable housing scheme uh, comes along again. We'll see one come in Bandon, thankfully, very shortly. We'll see one in Kinsale. There will be another one in Clannacilty, but this was the first opportunity. Um, and I think it's an absolute crying shame. Um, just on another issue, we know that one of the biggest barriers to delivery of housing is um, infrastructure. And again, I want to take this opportunity to raise the issue of wastewater treatment uh, in the village of Shannon Vale, near my hometown of Clannacilty. Uh, that we can see no new developments there because of the lack of wastewater treatment. And again, I want to reiterate the situation there. We have a, a children's play area right in the middle of the village where you have excrement and sewage coming up through the surface. The council are aware of it, Ishka Aaron are aware of it, but yet it's on no capital plan. And the, the, what we keep hearing back from Ishka Aaron is that this will cost about 900,000. The wastewater treatment plant is only catering for about nine houses, um, and therefore 100,000 per house doesn't merit uh, putting on the capital programme. But it's a lot more than wastewater treatment. You're talking about a children's play area in the centre uh, of a village. It's an amenity. It's the centre of their village. It's, it's not just a wastewater treatment solution. Um, and I want that point uh, to, to be made here as well today. Finally, in my last 30 seconds, um, 
again, again and again, I'm raising the issue of housing solutions for our islands. Uh, we have a problem, especially in our West Cork Islands, where we're seeing depopulation. We're struggling to fill schools. We're struggling to fill, fill jobs positions. Um, but the problem is islands have the same criteria, the same planning regulations as the rest of Ireland. That needs to change. And what I want to see is the Minister for Housing uh, invoke powers that would allow amendments to county development plans to island areas to allow for housing development there. Thank you.